Hey guys, what's up? So, this just came in from Amazon, and I uh, thought it was cool. I saw it on Amazon a couple days ago, and it's the Big Tree Tech uh, SKR Mini E3 version 1.2, and it's actually designed to go like in a Creality Ender, Ender 3. I'm not sure about a CR10 or not, but um, I actually was looking for something for my laser cutter project, laser cutter slash CNC project. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use this or not, so I'm not going to really take it out of the wrapper, but... Um, one of the unique things about this was it had integrated Trinamic um, 2209 drivers in it, which would allow you to control either via UART mode, so you can control the separate drivers from Marlin, you know, control like current and uh, separate settings, the micro settings, settings from uh, Marlin. But yeah, it's really really small form factor, and I already created a case for it. But, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to use them or not. It seems like a kind of extreme big case, though, for such a small board. You know, you're adding a lot of room to it. There's no room for MOSFET, so... Um, yeah, so my, my plan was that I was going to possibly use this for a uh, laser cutter and not like a Creality. I, I don't have an Ender 3 printer. Um, but, yeah, it also has a... Since it's running the 2209 drivers, it actually has stall guard. So I wouldn't have to actually add any sensors to my uh, 3D, or excuse me, my, my laser cutter here. So if you've been watching my channel, all you know that I'm working on a laser cutter. And I thought that would be cool if I didn't have to run end stops. So I'd have the benefit of trinamic drivers, but I wouldn't have end stops. Um, but I'm really torn between what version of, if I'm going to go through, uh, use Marlin or Durable. So still trying to figure that out, do a research, but... Yeah, I'm not going to take this out, so this is kind of a stupid video, I guess, but um, I just thought this was a cool board, you know. Um, like I said, because I'm not sure if I'm going to take it back or not, just because it's, um, it might not work. Because it actually is running the slower uh, ARM processor. I think it's the ST32. And uh, whereas this is this is the SKR board, and this is the faster uh, LPC 7668 processor. And then the newer ones coming out are the 69 processor which is 120 megahertz. So this actually, the old SKR 1.1 board is faster than this board. Um, but you really don't need that much processing power if you're just doing 3D printing. But, all right, yeah, I wish I could take it out of the wrapper. But, yeah, 20, that, that's actually pretty cool that they're integrating these steppers, though, into these boards now. So if you were actually looking for a board that actually had everything on it, I mean, this would be the board you'd want, for sure. UART mode, you know, centralized homing, and it's a tiny form factor, so, yeah, it's cool, they integrated, they, they, the SKR, in the version, first version of the SKR 1.1 board, they didn't actually install, like, an integrated fuse, so, in the new versions, like, the SKR 1.3, 1.4, Pro version, this board, they actually now have an integrated little fuse in there, so, that's pretty cool. Oh, and it also looks like it supports the TFT, so if you had, like, one of those TFT uh, 35 boards, like on my, um, one of these, like on, I have one on my printer bot right there. Um, you could integrate that, that on there too. But, all right, cool. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Uh, my own, one of my downsides to this board is this. Uh, the, the, well, I guess that's not micro USB, but it's, I can't remember, I forget what they call it, but it actually does have like the newer style, the, the bigger one, the micro USB. No, mini USB. I can't remember what it was, but it's, it was the one before micro USB. Just micro USB is so fragile, I hate it. So, all right, cool.